Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and newly released documents, well, pretty much confirm everything that we suspected all along when it comes to the Jussie Smollett saga. Yeah, according to these new papers that are out there, they're saying that the Cook County prosecutors, uh, the county in Illinois that was handling the Smollett case, that Cook County prosecutors told Chicago police weeks before all of the criminal charges against the Empire Television actor Jussie Smollett were dropped, they had told Chicago police to stop investigating Jussie Smollett, even though Smollett had been credibly accused of faking a late January hate crime. And for those of you who don't remember, of course, uh, Jussie Smollett went to police in late January claiming that one night as he was walking back to his Chicago apartment that he was attacked by a couple of racist supporters of President Trump saying that they attacked him, they poured bleach on him, they tied a noose around his neck, all while yelling, this is MAGA country. I mean, it is so clear that Jesse Smollett, that he faked this entire thing merely so he could demonize Trump supporters and so he could demonize all white people. He, he played this as a hate crime because he's African American and he's homosexual. And he clearly, a known liberal activist, Smollett, had a vendetta for what he was doing here. And look, it's abundantly clear that the man was guilty of staging this whole hate crime. Uh, sure, at first he was uh, listed as a suspect, but it didn't take long into the investigation for police to come out and say, uh, yeah, Mr. Smollett is no longer being considered a suspect. He is now considered a perpetrator. He, he was a suspect in the case, and he was credibly charged in this case. I, I mean, heck, just because all the charges were dropped doesn't mean that Jussie Smollett was an innocent man. He most certainly was not innocent. Heck, we have heard officials from the Cook County Prosecutor's Office since come out and say, yeah, we to this day believe that Jussie Smollett faked the hate crime. I mean, Jussie Smollett did not get off because he was innocent. No, on the contrary, Jussie Smollett, it is clear, was guilty of what he was being accused of. The only reason that Jussie Smollett got off, that all the charges against him were dropped, is because in the Cook County Pros Prosecutor's Office, the lead individual is a leftist partisan hack by the name of Kim Fox, who clearly was hell-bent on helping out another leftist partisan hack by the name of Jussie Smollett. That is what happened, and it is one of the biggest travesties of justice in the history of the United States of America. Look, this right here, the Smollett case, it is proof that there is a two-tier justice system that is sadly alive and well in the United States of America, one that gives plenty of privilege to elite leftists. And you know what? It's one of the biggest problems we have in the United States. This two-tier justice system absolutely needs to be toppled because all American citizens, I don't care what their level of status is, I don't care what way they vote on election day, all American citizens need to be held to the same standard of justice, and that includes people like Jussie Smollett. And that's all the time that we have for today and for this week. Have the best of weekends. John Muir Show back on Monday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.